Asia's jungles offer a rich and dynamic environment to thousands of species, including many of the world's rare primates. But in Vietnam, these primates are under growing threat. Man's desire for the animals and their parts is driving some species to the brink of extinction. A small army of conservationists, though, is attempting to halt this illicit trade. Susan Yu reports. They are man's closest relative in the animal kingdom. Yet man's handiwork could lead to the extinction of some of their species within this century. Even just now, we know many of these primates are in severe difficulty. In 10 years' time, it's going to be a lot worse. Obviously, deforestation is a reason. But again, the smuggling for the pet trade, the smuggling for the food trade, um, these are all really impacting wild populations of these primates. Gail Cochran is a veterinarian who surveys the illegal animal trade in Asia. She says Southeast Asia's primate population has been hardest hit. I've been to facilities where there's actually been shipments of something like 200 macaques stopped from going through the border. And that wasn't an unusual shipment. They often found shipments of that size every month or two months. Of the world's 25 most endangered primates, a fifth can be found in Vietnam. Indigenous species of macaques, langurs, gibbons, and lorises. These exotic primates are in high demand, with traffickers resorting to extremes to smuggle them out of the wild. We have a dog who's trained to sniff out um, actually endangered animal parts, not live animals, working in Korea. And one of his finds was actually four young macaques in a suitcase going through Kimpo Airport in Korea. But sadly, they were all very sick and did die within two weeks. As a baby, this Siaman gibbon was found stuffed in a handbag. Amazingly, it survived the journey to Hong Kong, where it was confiscated by authorities as the smuggler attempted to get it to Taiwan. Now it's being cared for at a local animal rescue center. No one was quite sure what we were looking at. It was a, a tiny, probably under one kilo baby primate. Um, which turned out as it grew up to be a, a Siaman gibbon, which comes mostly from Indonesia. Now, after having it for a couple of weeks, we examined the animal and we discovered a, a lead pellet embedded in one shoulder. And what, what this indicated to us, basically it tells a sad story, uh, which is probably true in many cases in the illegal pet trade. This young infant would have been clinging to its mother in the wild. Um, hunters would go out and basically just shoot a whole family of gibbons. And when the adults drop to the floor, the young still cling to them. Sadly, humans have become the biggest threat to Asia's dwindling population of primates. But ironically, it's rescue centers like this one that shows that mankind can also play a big role in preserving the future of these animals. Who does it? Leave your bedding behind. That's it. Leave all that behind. This is actually the youngster again. Captive born individual. Thousands of miles away from their habitat in Indochina, a population of pygmy lorises is thriving in Hong Kong. For a conservationist, that's good and bad news. For everyone that we receive here at Kaduri Farm, there's probably been a whole trail of deaths on the way. Um, so for one that makes it to us, there may have been several others that, that didn't. It's actually a real shame with species like this because they do do quite well in captivity and they could quite easily survive for years and breed well in captivity. This is not where we want them. We want them back in the wild, but at the minute we've got uh, around about 21 of them on site which is, I think, one of, the, one of the largest groups anywhere together in captivity. But when they start breeding on site, they fill cages that uh, we, we need to keep empty for the next, the next confiscation case or the next stray animal or whatever. Five, 30 grams. As poachers continue to prey on Asia's most vulnerable primates, a unique program is underway in Vietnam to try and save their kind.
The endangered primate rescue center, located in the Kuk Fong National Park, has been able to preserve some of the world's rarest species. Our center was the first rescue center in whole Indochina and is the only primate center now in, in the region. Tilo Nadler runs the highly respected center, which has carried out extensive research into the distribution of these animals. He says several hectares of primary forest are part of the primates' enclosure to mimic their natural habitat. The goal is to one day release them and any offspring back to the wild where they can hopefully breed and increase their scarce numbers. All our primates in Vietnam, we have 20 species, are very rare in the meantime and some of them, of them are critically endangered and on a brink of extinction. The most vulnerable are the Delacour langur, the grey shank duck langur and the golden headed langur. The rescue center is a sanctuary for 15 of the most endangered species of primates. It's a place of refuge but also a place for breeding. More than a dozen babies were born here. This baby golden-headed langur is one of them, but its future depends on more than just a safe environment. This is the biggest problem in Vietnam, the, to raise the awareness. <laughs> Conservationists agree, public education is a factor in trying to ensure the survival of endangered primates. Longok Hoi has been guiding tours of the center since it was established in 1993. I didn't have this kind of chance when I was growing up. I realize now that there are so many primates that are endangered and we have the responsibility to respect and protect our wildlife. It's a message that youngsters like 13-year-old Trin Hong Han has taken to heart. In the books I learn about a few species and which ones need to be protected, like the primates we can see here. This is my first visit to the center and I hope I can keep coming back. I'm really happy to see all of this. The question they ask the most is, how do the primates survive? And we ask them questions like, do you know how to protect them, since they know the animals are endangered? After their visit, they come away with a better understanding of the animal kingdom and why we need to preserve it. But as Asia's few rescue centers continue to take on primates stolen from the wild, it's a message that is clearly being ignored by animal traffickers.